Alright guys, here's meal number one for today. So I've got 80 grams of oats in here, 15 grams of this peanut butter, one serving of PB2, which is basically this low fat powdered protein, that you, uh, sorry, powdered peanut butter that you can make up. 30 grams of honey, one serving of sugar-free maple syrup, if that will focus. Sugar-free maple syrup. One scoop of oxy shred in here. Uh, and then also a banana as well and I, then I just had a protein shake just before to get my protein intake for the morning and then sipping on a Powerade Zero to try and hydrate um, before I go off and do some work. What's up guys, I'm just getting some work done before I head to the gym. Uh, today's going to be back, spies and three ducks. Five minutes, I get about an hour and a half done of emails and uh, getting back to your programs and whatnot. So we'll get this done now, got the Americano here, and I'm gonna get to work. What's up guys, welcome back to this vlog, episode 16 of Chasing the Physique. And today, as I mentioned just then, I'm training back biceps and rear delts again at LA Fitness. And we started off the session with chin-ups. So it's basically three reps, uh, sorry, three sets of max reps which for me was around about that 10 to 15 rep range. Um, I was a little bit fatigued today. I'm not too sure why I didn't get as much sleep as what I would have liked. Maybe I was a little bit dehydrated as well, but uh, in the past couple of weeks, I think the first set I've been getting around 19 to 20, the second set around 14 to 15. Check out this dude just going mad, going, going ham on these, these rope curls. He was walking around the gym like behind the joint and um, singing and all that type of stuff. It was. LA Fitness was like a fucking zoo the last two days. But anyways, yeah, second set I've been getting around 14 to 15 reps. And then on the third set, only between 10 and 12. But today was a little less, but that's okay. Second movement, I have been doing Penlay Rose if you follow along with my social media. Um, if not, definitely jump on and give me a follow on Instagram and on Snapchat. But today I substituted that with bent over row on the Smith machine. That was three sets of eight. Third exercise, I then moved on to lap pull down. Now with the lap pull down, it was three sets with the double drop set on the last one. So the first set was 12 reps, which is what you're seeing here. The second set was 10 reps. And then on the third set, I did eight reps. And then I dropped the weight a little bit, did another eight reps, and then dropped it a little bit again, and then did another six. Now it seems, or it sounds a lot easier than what it actually is. That last set is an absolute killer, and by the end, your lap's just absolutely cooked. One thing you guys might notice as well is what I wanted to kind of point out with any back training, like, so like pull-ups, rows, um, lap pull-down and stuff, I try and really relax my thumb, and especially on pull-ups, I have my thumb over the bar instead of under it, and that's just going to take away from the forearm, the bicep, and really activate the lats, uh, which is definitely going to help not fatigue the forearm, which most people fatigue first instead of the lats when they train back or biceps. Uh, the fourth exercise, as you're seeing here, single arm dumbbell row, which is three sets of 12 to 15. So obviously all the dumbbells here in the States are in pounds, so I'm just practically just guessing what I'm gonna be lifting because I think it's divided by 2.2 gives you the kilos. So just having a rough estimate, but this was 85 pounds, I believe. So I'm, I'm thinking that's around about 40 kilos. Um, fifth exercise was a superset, actually. So there was a seated, rope face pull which you're seeing here for the rear delts. I really like this angle. It's um I couldn't really get I, I should have videoed this on a different angle so you can see which muscles are actually working here but working the rear delts really squeezing on every single rep. Try not to use any momentum at all. The ropes at this gym are really cool. They kind of really thick. I don't know why but it feels a lot better than the um the skinnier ropes um, that I'm used to using. That was super setted with this straight bar pull down. Again, not the greatest camera angle, but I'm basically just recording everything with my tripod because I don't have anyone to lift with. So uh, the angles aren't going to be fantastic, but the content's going to be there and the exercises are there. So straight arm pull downs. This was, this was three sets of 15 um, on both of these. Really just not worrying about the weight and just focusing on the contraction on every rep. So you can see I'm really squeezing. I like to think about skiing here, so like downhill skiing or whatever at the snow where you're trying to push, push past your body. Um, so as I'm pulling that bar down, I'm thinking about pushing my hands past my body and that really activates the lats. It's a hard one to not activate your triceps, but um, once you can get it right, it's a really good exercise. 
first bicep exercise was three sets of six reps at a heavy weight and then eight reps at a lighter weight. So this is my eight reps here with 35 pounds, which I think is around about 15 kilos. Um, so just alternating curls, trying to keep that elbow locked in by your side, chest out. I think about twisting my little finger out as far as I can at the top of each rep. Nice and controlled and only using momentum when I really need to, but I try and limit any momentum there. And then moving on to the last exercise, which is straight bar cable curls, and this was three sets of 15. Um, so guys, as you, can, as you can see, I'm starting to get really lean, which is awesome. I'm still around about eight weeks out um, and still eating a lot of food, still doing no cardio or no planned cardio anyway, uh, and feeling great. Training's really good and I'm just absolutely pumped. So this is gonna be an awesome month of training. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. It's a little bit different to the last two vlogs, um, but make sure you subscribe and leave any comments below. Most of all, thanks for watching and make sure you tune in to the next one.